All right, three, two, one. Welcome to Christian's shop. Uh, what brings you here? Uh, we're actually gonna get a guitar shirt made for my dad. Really? And how did you hear about us? Um, one of my buddies that I work with, uh, Christian actually made some straps for his sons, the the twins, and uh, was saw the photos and reached out to Christian. Wow. And what are you getting made today? Uh, doing a new strap and I'm not sure what else yet. <laughs> Anything special you want? You're doing it for? Um, I'm just give you some stuff to look kind of a, a gift for him is something that and cause we, we, he would really like and really enjoy like and one. that would be mm -hmm. cool to do for him. What kind of music does he play? Uh, a little bit of everything. Country, rock, classical. Right on. Kind of place. Yeah. Okay, um, so what do you what do you think of, out of all this do you like the most? These two are the same. Those are the same. That's the same. That's elegant. I think I like these. Okay. And that the alligator? Yeah. Okay. Let's throw some gator in there. Gotta throw some gator. I sure like this wrinkly. That's, yeah. That's neat looking. Gotta use that up there. Use it some character. Yeah. Some character for a character. Yeah. But I, I played guitar as a teenager, just me and some friends messing around. We grew up in a very small town, so you know we didn't have access to any teachers, or we were all pretty much self-taught. But as we all were, yeah. Kind of. And I I was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis in 1991, and I kind of. When it got hard to play, I just kind of put it down and didn't pick one up for years. Didn't pick another guitar up for years and I got to thinking, you know, it probably would be a good idea to to work on that dexterity. And mm -hmm. so first I bought a bass. I see. And uh, wow. I got pretty good with my bass and I thought, you know, I could probably play a classical, you know, it's got a neck on it like a two before. Yeah. And, <laughs> you know, and yeah. so I bought a cheap classical six string and uh, got to where I could play it pretty good. And then I, I ran across a deal on a, a Taylor. Mm -hmm. uh, what's it? What is it? What's the 214? 214? 214 Custom Deluxe. Oh, wow. And uh, so it's got the upgraded uh, pickups in it. It plays like butter. And it's it's the best guitar I've ever owned. And it plays like butter. Yeah. <laughs> and, and it's the best guitar I've ever had. And I, I, I catch, catch myself, I'll sit down every evening and in front of the TV with the TV on and I'm sitting there playing guitar and I'll play guitar for an hour and a half and it has helped my dexterity so much. Uh, about a year and a half ago I was doing one of my other hobbies besides amateur radio and woodworking <laughs> and other things and uh, I was drilling a piece of steel with battery operated drill a battery drill and I've got a rigid brand drill real high right. torque right. and I was holding it like this and pushing the trigger with my thumb and it hung oh, no. and it slammed my hand into a shelf and I broke that finger <laughs> and I had three surgeries on that finger and it still looks like that Jeez. as straight as it'll go so I had to learn to play the guitar over again <laughs> after 40 years of playing one, I had to start over. And I'm just now, after a year, getting to where I can, wow, I can change chords fast again and, and stuff. But because of the EMS, I have trouble with my little finger uh, placement. Okay. Muscle memory is just not there. Oh, I see. 
and like trying to play a Have C, you ever played open C7. tee? I've, I've thought about or it. Play, I, I've tried slide? it once. Playing slide? I, well, I've never tried playing slide. I've, you I, know, I've I was, tuned I was my guitar that. open. Yeah. And, you know, and tried it a little bit and, you know, it was kind of awkward and I retuned it and started playing. <laughs> but, um, it's that, that's the most frustrating thing is, you know, when I'm, when I go to change chords and that little finger doesn't go where I want it to. But, yeah. I can't hold on to a pick anymore. Uh, uh, the pick will just get all sideways and, and stuff, so I've started finger picking. Oh yeah, you like and it? I can I can finger pick with. I, I can't control this finger good enough to do it, and I broke this knuckle <laughs> last year too. <laughs> when? Uh, but I, with three, you know, these two fingers and a thumb, I can I can do pretty well, he good. Well, note and is not in his vocabulary, is it? Doesn't give up. <laughs> That's. All right. Well, let's cut the. Uh, it's it's uh, like I, I've always said about him is, it's not something that's going to kill me. It's something I'm going to live with. Yep. There you go. <clears throat> What's up, Tippy? Oh, so, how was your first strap being made by Christian Brooks like? How was that experience? Amazing. Uh, amazing watching him work is just the the artistry involved in his in his his abilities is are, is just mind-boggling. I mean, just to take the the 
pieces of leather and, and piece them together and make such a beautiful strap. Well, we really appreciate you coming out today and sharing some stories with us. I, I really, really appreciate yeah. that. It makes the day, you know, especially, you know, Pops, you know, you know, the stories you told me and, you know, uh, you didn't think you were going to be able to even play. Didn't, lost the desire to play. Yeah. You know, I know that feeling. It was, you know, the, the, the fumble finger and it, it like, well, C7, you know, you, <laughs> that little finger in there yeah. is. Yeah, it's a challenge. You know, yeah. Good. We really appreciate you coming in today. Thank you, brother. Thank you. Appreciate it. It's yeah. It's beautiful. I'm gonna have to give me a tailor. Yeah. I've got a box of guitar, but it's uh, I don't even know what the name of it is. You're taking us out with that. That, those, that strumming, that's awesome. <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> Been waiting for that laugh. <laughs> <laughs> what laugh are you talking about?